I'm CM Coleman and welcome to my home. Today we are making what you commonly known as cold press coffee, but we aren't going to press it. We're going to do it in a way that you can do this however you want. It is so, so simple. You can do this without any extras, anything that you really say they say you have to have. All you need is just coffee and water. Now here's some things to remember about cold press coffee. The heat, most people agree, will bring out some bitterness to the coffee. Cold pressed coffee does not have that heat, so it's not as bitter, and you can use this in so many different things. I personally find it a little stronger, so I use it and water it down when I use, co when I use it, but I'm also not a big coffee drinker, so that's important to remember. Now this is going to take some time, so that's something to think about. If you want this in the morning, you probably should do this the night before, but it's really easy and it'll go super fast. What I have is three and a half cups of coffee, uh, three and a half cups of water, and that's just filtered water. It is important that it's filtered water. You can start this off cold or you can start this off at room temperature. This is nine ounces of coffee grounds. Now, you can grind your own coffee. If you want to learn a little bit more about coffee and grinding, click that button up there. It'll take you to my episode where I talk about grinding coffee. I put that right in there. Then I'm going to cover this, and we are going to let this sit. Once it's covered, you let it sit, and we're going to let this sit for 8 to 12 hours, possibly longer if you want, but we're going to let this sit at room temperature, and that's absolutely fine. Just let it sit, do whatever it wants to do, and I will show you the, fi the finished product, sort of, because <laughs> I already had one started. This has been sitting for 12 hours. Now here's the fun part. If you had the cold press, the French press coffee maker, which, which is just basically a glass with a press in it and a filter so the coffee grounds don't go through it, you would use that and press it down. But we've got our lovely little jars and a fine mesh strainer. I'm just going to pour this all through. There we go. Now if you really, really want to filter it out, you can then run it through a coffee filter, one of the paper filters, or you could run it through muslin or cheesecloth, but this should be just okay. So we're going to pour it in there. And there you have really good coffee. It's not too strong, it's not too bitter, it is wonderful. Now remember, if you really, if you're going to do this and you're not going to filter it later on, run it through the coffee filter and let it strain, because that's the way it's going to catch everything. But you will love this. I, I, I can honestly say, this is such a much more mild coffee. It is wonderful, and we're going to use it in quite a few things. We probably already used it once or twice. But I hope you enjoy making this. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday I talk about something different, and you're going to have to check in to see what it is. Monday is always for the at home, Tuesday is a recipe, Wednesday is tips for you and your house, Thursday it's a cocktail, and Friday morning you'll wake up in the morning with a recipe for a sweet treat. Don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see me make, because I really do believe in the philosophy, why should you buy it if you can make it yourself? Remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.